Well, we've come to another of our local reserves this week. This is Titchmarsh, actually in the village of Old Winkle, um, just next to the River Nen. And a section of the circular four-mile walk is uh, actually part of the Nen Way. Just on the reserve now, an overhead kite wheeling in the heavens. Quite a few uh, wildflowers around, but nothing like Ditchford last week. We've got the same mixture though, buttercup, red clover, and uh, on the bush there, dog rose. Just going to check out the water. Cormorant just dived down there. Got a couple of distant little egret. Quite a few um, great crested grebe around. There's a couple not too far away there uh, displaying. I thought it was a little bit late for that. Also uh, pretty good views of common tern there just in front of us fishing. Common terns of course are, are pretty good hoverers not quite as good as kestrels but not far off. So I'm fishing for uh, small fish I think it's just caught one there. You can hear lots of small birds around, but uh, a few of them are just starting to show now, mainly male reed buntings. And uh, just below that one in the same bush, we've got a pied wagtail. Also, uh, you can hear lots of sedge warblers around, really close by as you walk by the bushes, but uh, very difficult to see. Uh, a couple of those uh, showing now. Well, we're going to walk down by the river Nen, because it's usually pretty good for uh, damselflies and dragonflies there, see what we can see. This is a type of mayfly, the Latin name in the book is Ephemera vulgata. Also looking down in the bush here, we've got a little uh, cricket of some sort. Also uh, quite a few uh, bumblebees around, always nice to see those. Well, ever since we got here, we've been hearing uh, what we thought was a distant chain saw. And there across the river, we've got a chap doing some uh, chain saw wood sculpture. Well, back to the wildlife. This is a large red damselfly. I think it's a female. Well, as I said before, down by the river here is excellent at this time of year for banded damosels. And uh, there you go. Mostly males. Absolutely stunning. Males are this uh, beautiful iridescent blue and the females are green. Well I've filmed lots of uh, banded damosels before but uh, one dragonfly I haven't filmed before is this. It's actually a scarce chaser and uh, this is a female with a bright orange body. Males have sort of a powdery blue body very similar to uh, black-tailed skimmers and I thought this was a female black-tailed skimmer because they're yellow. It doesn't have enough black on the body so I'll just move the camera around a little bit and it's actually a scarce chaser but it's an immature male and uh, when it gets a little bit older it'll turn blue uh, great stuff really pleased with that that's uh, a species I haven't filmed before time for home 